Hi, I have a few questions about the Cryocube ULT Freezer. Before we begin, can you please introduce yourself first? Sure. My name is Jan Webermeyer. I'm the Global Marketing Manager at Appendorf, and I'm in charge of the cold storage equipment and sample management portfolio. Why would you select a Cryocube F740H for your laboratory? Well, the Cryocube F740H is part of our F740 family, so there are different versions available for this freezer. This unit has a volume of 740 liters and you can store up to 576 boxes in this freezer. You have a flexible rail system, so that means you can adapt the, the inside of the freezer to your needs, to your type of, of racks, and every shelf can be loaded with up to 150 kilogram. The inside of the freezer is stainless steel, so it's easy to clean. On the other side, the outer vent port in, in the outer door enables you to have fast and quick Reaccess to your samples if you need to bring in more samples right away. The outer door can be selected with a left or right door handle depending on your needs in the lab. The pull down time and the recovery time is something which is also very important for the freezer because that's giving you the security for your samples because when you open the, the freezer the temperature is rising so you have to close it again, the freezer is pulling down within a few minutes. How do you rate the performance, especially the power consumption versus cooling efficiency? Yeah, that's a very important part of the story because you open and close the freezer several times a day. So that means every time you open the freezer, the temperature will raise up. And that means the freezer needs to counter cool and needs or requires a very strong and efficient cooling system. So otherwise, I mean, you can save energy, but then you most of the time you have a very weak cooling system. So by having a slightly stronger one, you can really guarantee that your samples are not at risk. So they are safe in the freezer, even if the temperature is changing, because the freezer will immediately pull down again to reach minus 80 degrees Celsius. Can I monitor the freezer remotely? Yes, you can. If you use our Visionize system, you will just get a notification on your mobile phone right away if there's any kind of issue with the freezer. So that means you can just check this notification, log into the system online from wherever you are in the world with whatever device you have. If it's a smartphone, a, table, a tablet or a laptop and just log into the system and check the situation in the lab before you decide to go to the lab. Or if it's just false alarm, you can just go back to sleep if it's in the middle of the night. How should I store and manage all these samples? Yeah, management is the right term for handling the samples because you have hundreds and thousands and even ten thousands of samples in your freezer. And that's far more than you can manage just by using paperwork. So more and more users are just using software-based systems to take care about the samples. So that means they really know where the sample is located the name of the sample, the concentration of the sample, to whom it belongs. So all this information are stored in one central location, which you can access from any point of the world. And by using some software like the eLab Next solution from Eppendorf, you really have an easy way to know where your samples are. In terms of being future-proof and sustainable, what are the benefits of this unit? Yes, yeah, sustainability becomes more and more important for all of us in the laboratory, but also in normal life. And for this purpose, we try to optimize the freezers in a way that the footprint of our equipment is as low as possible. First of all, all our freezers are equipped with green hydrocarbon based cooling liquids. So that's a technology which we introduced already 15 years ago. And nowadays it's state of the art for pretty much all ULT freezers. The factory is located in the UK, which means for all our European based customers, there's a very short logistics chain. So that means the footprint, the carbon footprint is in an acceptable range. The assembly of these freezers is done 
by 100% green energy, so renewable energy, to produce all our freezers. The longevity of the units result in typical usage of the freezers of 8, 10 or even 12 years, depending on the location, depending on the usage. But that means you have a very low running cost. Finally, there are some white papers available on the App and of Home page where you can just get more information of what we did in our factory to improve the footprint, but also what you can do in your lab to improve the sustainability aspects in your daily work. Ergonomics becomes increasingly more important in our labs. Even though I don't have to lift the freezer, what should I keep in mind when selecting a new one? Correct. 300 kg of a freezer you should not really lift at all. But freezers do have wheels, so you can just move on. So there's no need to have some kind of workout in the evening. But coming back to your question of ergonomics of a freezer, first of all, the interface should be on eye level because then you have an easy access to the data the freezer is providing you. Second, you should benefit of an outer band port. So that means an automatic pressure um, correction if you want to have fast and quick reaccess to your samples. Last but not least, we do have the door handle of the freezer. And this thing here is the key to address your freezer. So that means this door handle should be designed in a way that you can grip it with your hands and your fingers in an optimal way and that the force you need is not really a force but that can easily open and close the freezer with pretty much two fingers and not with just your complete hand, your complete force. That makes life easier and that is why a door handle should be really ergonomic when using the freezer. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.